Welcome to Understanding Applied Statistics, Processing with SPSS, Chapter 3, Descriptive Statistics. In this module, we'll take a look at techniques for summarizing data for continuous and categorical variables. When we think about continuous variables, think about a continuum of numbers, say a number line. Most of the variables we encounter are continuous variables. For instance, age, height, bank balance, or number of siblings. These are all continuous variables. When processing continuous variables using descriptive statistics, we'll get the n, which is the total number of entries, the mean, which is the average, the median, which if we took all of the numbers and lined them up from lowest to highest and then selected the middle one, that would be the median. The mode, which is the most common number in the set. The standard deviation, which is a measure of distribution. The variance, which is the standard deviation squared. The minimum, the maximum. The range, which is simply the maximum minus the minimum. And the histogram, which is a bar chart representation of the data. We'll also ask for a normal curve to be superimposed over the histogram. With categorical variables, we're talking about variables that fit into discrete categories. For instance, gender could be coded, female, male. Another category could be driver's license. An individual either does or does not hold a valid driver's license. They could also encounter more than two categories per variable. For instance, marital status could be single, engaged, married, separated, divorced, widowed. Additionally, political party has more than two choices also. Could be Democrat, Republican, or one of the other parties. When processing descriptive statistics for categorical variables, our list is slightly different. We can get the n, total number of elements per category. We can also express that as a percentage. And then finally, we can get a bar chart to show how many elements are posted in each category. So let's go into SPSS and see how this is processed. What we have here is a data set that has two variables. Gender, which is categorical, as you can see, I've coded Females is 1, males is 2, and age, which is our continuous variable. We'll begin by analyzing age, the continuous variable. We click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequency, and we'll start with age. We'll click on this arrow key, which moves age into the variable window. For statistics, under Central Tendency, we'll select Mean, Median, Mode. And under Dispersion, we'll select Standard Deviation, Variance, Range, Minimum, Maximum, and click Continue. For Charts, we'll select the Histogram, and we'll check this box to show Normal Curve on Histogram. Now hit Continue. We'll also leave this box checked, Display Frequency Table. We click OK, and it processes. What we see in our Summary window is statistics for age. We have an N of 50, meaning 50 entries. The mean, the average, is 24.80. The median, the center value, is 24.5. The mode, most common, is 24. Standard deviation, the dispersion of the data, comes in at 3.156. The variance, which is the standard deviation squared, is 9.959. The range is 13, which is based on the maximum minus the minimum, 31 minus 18, 13. Let's now come down and take a look at this on the frequency table. Here we see that 18 occurred once, which constitutes 2%. We see that 19 occurred three times, which constitutes 6%, and on down the line. Finally, we can take a look at the histogram, which is a graphical representation of how frequently each age occurred in the data set. 
Based on the bar chart, the system can then also produce this normal curve that's superimposed over it, and it looks like it's fairly normally distributed. Now let's process the other variable, the categorical variable. We'll go back to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequency. Let's move age out of the variable box and move gender in. For statistics, we're going to take out the central tendency variables and we're going to take out the dispersion calculations and we'll press continue. For charts, we'll switch to a bar chart and press continue and we'll keep the display frequency table box checked. We press OK and it processes. We see here that 50 data elements have been processed for gender and we see that for female there's 27 which constitutes 54 percent. For males there's 23 which constitutes 46 percent and we see that represented here in the bar chart that we ordered. This concludes this module.